Small business owners across this country paralyzed with uncertainty, no clear picture from Washington, just as David was talking about. If they could have five minutes with the man in charge, what would they ask for? It is our War on Business Roundtable. Clint Greenleaf, Chairman and CEO of Greenleaf Book Company, and Chuck Bailey, President of Bright Star Healthcare Franchise, as well as Ephraim Taylor, CEO of City Capital, with his take, of course, on all of this. And Clint, I want to ask you that first. Uh, if you did have five minutes with the President right now, Clint, what would you ask for? I guess the first thing would be just to say, can you please get out of the way? Is it really that hard for you just to allow us to do what we do? We're really good at running businesses. We know that. We know you have no business people in your cabinet or anyone to even talk in your ear about business. So just please get the hell out of our way and let us do what we do so effectively. <laughs> okay, Chuck Bailey, what would you well, ask for? <laughs> that's, that's a great point. And I tell you, I received over 100 emails this weekend asking my colleagues, you know, what they want. And um, this theme of uncertainty is everywhere. And, I, and what I would ask for is three things. One is we need clarity on what's up with health care reform and the real costs associated with it. Secondly, we need to know how small businesses are going to access capital. And thirdly, what's up with the Bush tax cuts? Because uncertainty leads to hesitation, and that paralyzes small businesses. The, and, and small businesses only have so many plays they can run, and if they hesitate, then they're going to fall behind. Ephraim Taylor, what would you say, sir? Man, you know, I wish I had the time to really just email all my buddies, but I get so many, you know, rants or inquiries coming into me and say, hey, have you heard anything? Have you heard anything? You're down there. Do you know anything? And it's just like, you know, I really don't have answers for you. And that, you know, honestly, right now is what scares the living but Jesus out of everybody is that nobody knows. We well, can sit here and talk for hours. You know, Jim A. Watt, I mean, you're you're on the investment side of all of this, and right. I want to bring your perspective into this, because if you look at small businesses and what they do for this country, they create jobs, private sector jobs, Jim. Uh, but we, from all of these gentlemen, from lots of CEOs that come on Fox Business, they tell us because of the uncertainty, they don't, they're not willing to hire. We're hearing right. it over and, and over. And the real issue, the real hope here is that the polls show that there's going to be a Republican pickup in the Congress this election. The question is, will that matter? Will it impact Obama? Will Obama get a reality check from the markets, from the voters, saying, I better pay more attention to business? And will it make a difference? Can Congress make a difference? Or does this have to come from the Obama administration itself? I'd like to ask any and all of you whether you're hopeful about that. All right, David, can you start with that question, sir? Well, I'm, I'm very hopeful. I, I think that uh, the prior comment that, you know, I, I've always said that President Obama doesn't get it. He is not a businessman. I mean, he may be in terms of giving you a discussion about business, but when it comes to the, the fundamentals of waking up every morning, doing the same mundane jobs or exciting jobs, making a sale, dealing with customer service, and getting a repeat sale and going out there and reinvesting in your business, he's never done that. He's only been in this office a couple of years. Uh, most people that have been successful in business have been out there 20, 30, 40 years. We're still in the education of life. We're still learning. And I think in life's lessons, you learn, you learn enough to know that when you've got the real deal in front of you, you can follow that message all the way to the bank. If you've got somebody in front of you that basically creates more uh, noise and dust, almost uh, an attention deficit disorder of sorts in leadership, from opening health care to opening up you know, banking issues, to getting involved with, you know, the way people get treated medically and whether or not they expire or not in a euthanasia-like format. All that uncertainty, as well as some of the chaotic statements that are made, create a lot of this, uh, I'd like to say, indecision on the part of corporate America, as well as the public, in terms of spending and making investments in new homes, cars, and hopefully finding better and more promising jobs. Clint, it seems like you're agreeing with him on that one. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. I mean, all of us have started businesses. All of us have been through good times and bad times. And during the bad times, we make mistakes. Um, you would hope that if, in fact, we do get some conservatives who now come into Washington, President Obama could learn from this, just like Bill Clinton did in 94 when the uh, first revolution came through, and say, wow, okay, so maybe I've really miscalculated that maybe all those flyover state people are maybe not crazy. Maybe I should listen to them. Hopefully, like a good business owner, he would learn from the lesson and try and tilt some of his strategies a little more towards the center. I mean, Chuck, let's talk about it. I mean, what about tax breaks? I mean, Chuck, what about uh, more incentives to grow the business? I mean, I mean, if you look at the progressive side of this, the progressives will tell you, well, you know, it, it, we should we should you know tax more and 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 spend less. I mean, are we doing that correctly right now? That's the message I'm hearing. 
Well, I, I can tell you, I mean, some small businesses are operating in obviously very, very difficult sectors. Bright Star Franchising is up over 100% this year. We're adding new locations. We're responding to the needs of seniors out there. But what my owners tell us, what our franchisees say is they actually want to do more. We've created over 5,000 jobs this year. But when I look these guys in the eye, they're hesitant to go out and hire that next employee, just like the folks that aren't growing. And what they need is assurance of the tax incentives that are available, and they need access to capital. Um, we had to take uh, matters into our own hands earlier this summer when we put together a program with Franchise America Finance to bring capital to these guys that weren't otherwise able to get it in their local communities. What I'm hearing from all of you, every every business owner right now is, is the word uncertainty, and I want to kind of continue on that theme. We're going to take a break. Stay with us. When we come back, our small business panel uh, is going to be here as the war on business week continues on the only business network in true HD.